that we're leaving. Well, what do you know? She finally put Rory's stroller away. First time in the year I haven't tripped over that thing. Where's my scarf? I told Tina to put everything out for you, Richard. Out where? Look on the table. You have to be more specific with her, Emily. Fine, Richard. There should be a designated place to put things. Whatever you say, Richard. Lorelai, we are leaving. Please acknowledge that. Where is that girl? Well, this is not the scarf I asked for. Well, it looks fine. Can you just wear it? No, I'm going to go back upstairs and get the scarf I intended to wear in the first place. Well, I'm surprised at you, Emily. These are your friends we're seeing tonight. You would have thought that my appearance would be a priority for you. See, I didn't want to go to this thing in the first place. I have an early meeting in the morning, and I would much rather go to bed and ignore the fact that the symphony has to reupholster its mezzanine this year. Emily. Emily. And the tennis courts are back there. It's certainly impressive. And this is my favorite place. <laughs> the tool shed? No, this is where we used to live. What? Right when Mom and I moved here, this was our apartment. But I know it looks small, but it's really pretty. Come on. See, we had our bed right over there. And Mom put up this really pretty curtain around the tub so that it looked like a real bathroom. And we would just sit outside at night when the inn would have parties. And we'd just listen to music and feed the ducks and Grandma? What's this? Well, that's me, Mom. I know it's you. You're wearing a cast. Yeah, that's when I broke my leg. You broke your leg? Yeah, three years ago during a yoga class. The headstand portion took a very ugly turn. The good thing was that I brought the smug, blonde pretzel chick down with me. I've since learned that I'm a bit too competitive for yoga. I never knew you broke your leg. It was no big deal, Mom. If I had been really sick, you would have known. Yeah. Emily? She's right. I don't know my daughter at all. We should go. Traffic. Lorelei Victoria Gilmore. Gretchen Friedman. Why can't we have what you and Rory have? Rory and I are different, Mom. We're mother and daughter. You're mother and daughter. It shouldn't be that different. It's completely different. It couldn't be more different. But why? Rory and I are best friends, Mom. We are best friends first and mother and daughter second. And you and I are mother and daughter always. I wasn't taught to be best friends with my daughter. I know. I was taught to be a role model for my daughter. I know that, too. I did what I thought was right. I did what I thought I had to do to protect you. And because of this, we have no relationship. Oh, Mom, we have a relationship. We do? What? What is our relationship? Well, we... Exactly. Um, do you have a sec to chat? Super. Lorna, what is this? I just wanted to see how you were. That's all. I'm fine. You are? Oh, good, good. I'm glad that you're fine. I, however, am not fine. I'm going to bed now. Now, why is it that when your only daughter tells you that she is getting married, you can't muster up even a little enthusiasm? Even a little fake enthusiasm? Why don't you pretend that you care? I mean, this is the biggest thing to happen to me, possibly, for the rest of my life. And you dismissed it. Like I said, hey, I'm thinking of getting a Honda. What do you think? You're obviously hysterical. <sighs> why don't you care? Why have you never cared no matter what has happened to me my entire life you've never been happy for me and that hurts mom it really hurts i'm not discussing this with you do you know how it felt for me to tell you that i was getting married and to have you just brush it off like that do you know no i don't i don't know possibly very similar to finding out from a complete stranger that my only daughter was getting married and had told every other person in the world before she bothered to tell her own mother possibly it felt something like that now, if you will excuse me, it is late, and I'm going to bed. <laughs>